spoken to you about spiritual authority as being superior to the anointing the reason why people fall in church but their life is not changed in the territory is because we have anointing we don't have authority meanwhile the business of colonization is a business of authority not anointing the devil was in heaven most anointed of the angels but he knew that for him to have government and authority he needed to ascend the throne even though he was most anointed the bible said he was the revelation of beauty and glory he said from the day of your creation he said you were covered with the finest stones jasper topaz gold sapphire kabunku he was clothed he was shining like the sun he said you walk in the midst of the coast of fire you were in eden from the day of thy creation thy taps and thy tablets were indeed the guy knew the emotions of God so much that if God wanted to laugh, he knew what to do. If he shakes his body, heaven is saturated with sound. Different kinds of sound that communicated the emotions of God. The Bible said you are the anointed cherub that covered it. So he was both a cherubim, he was also a seraphim. Cherubims are the ones that, caught, that guard the jealousy of God's glory. Seraphims, they are the ones that keep the holiness of God moving in the coals of fire. The devil was both moving in the coal of fire and he was both a covering for the glory of God. But he knew that anointing cannot colonize a territory. Meanwhile, in our generation, we celebrate anointing. But there are no men of stature. The same people that come to church, they are the same people in the nightclubs. The same people we preach to on the crusade ground, they are the same people that are killing and doing all kinds of evil. Because we cannot talk to their heart. We only talk to their head. Because even ourselves, there is no government. Jesus said, for their sakes, I sanctify myself. So that they too might be sanctified. The prince of this world, come to me and find that nothing. That's a lively stone. That's a living epistle. When he talks to you, you have no choice. He saw a tax collector. In the days of old, the tax collector is like one that walks in Chevron. He said, follow me. And the guy abandoned his job. He saw fishermen with their parents. He said, follow me. They abandoned their net. That's not a man talking. It's a lively stone. That's a living epistle. Every time he speaks, you hear the voice of God through him. But it begins with government. Suffer it to be so for now. Thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. So the creator went down to be baptized by creation. Many of us cannot bow. We are too strong in ourselves. How can you walk for God when you are strong? That's why we have no authority. The devil will come to your family and steal your family members. You cry, you say, God, why? Meanwhile, you are the priest of that family, but there's no authority. Because when God wanted to deliver that family, that was when he came to you and said, stop fornicating. You didn't know that stop fornicating is not just holy living. It will confer authority on you and preserve your family. When God came and said, stop lying, you don't know that that is the life of your elder brother. I was living carelessly. God will come to me and say, pray at night. I thought it was a, a, it was a religious act. Pray at night. I kept quiet for six years. And in six years, my mother and my brother were killed. Until I realized that something was wrong. And when I began to obey, the same witch came from my father. And then God told me, I'm now a gatekeeper. I did not only stop the situation, I killed the witch. And he confessed before dying. He said he killed my brother. So those days when God was telling me, wake up and pray at night, it was my brother's life he was bargaining but i was not wise he was bargaining my brother's life with me he was bargaining my brother's destiny he was bargaining my brother's future i thought it was about sleeping and praying i didn't know that life depended on it my father too would have gone because i think it's about luxury and sleep so now from 10 to 12 everything you do you keep your energy because you need to wake up at night because lives depend on it this is where authority is born there are many people that the destiny of a territory is in their hands but they think that um they need to have that girlfriend they think it's about girlfriend they don't know that that consecration god is bringing upon their life is to save a generation it is when you commit to it that something now happens to your voice god puts authority there so when you scream the princes in darkness will run away he said the land of zebulun matthew chapter 4 verse 16 the land of naphtali by the way of the sea beyond jordan galilee of the gentile 
the people that sat in darkness have seen a great light light was not because he was a light it was because he went to john and said suffer it to be so for now it's because the holy ghost led him into the wilderness to be tempted and he followed so when he came out from dealing he became a light most of you your brothers your sisters your fathers will die unless you rise up the significance of lively stones the significance of being a living epistle is beyond talking about god is bringing god on the sea but this is where many cannot walk so our christian life is reduced to religion let's bow our heads and pray that god may help us by his message to become a witness so that our life will prove the existence of god that will become lively stones and become part of the eternal buildings that is raising in zion and that we will become men of authority that we advance his purpose on the face of the earth the purpose of god on earth will die unless men of authority rise our life on earth will be a waste unless we become lively stones that will be part of the building in heaven and god will never be accepted on earth unless we truly become witnesses the significance of a living episode You ask the Lord to help your heart now. Maybe you have been in church for five years, for one year, for ten years, for twenty years, and you did not understand that being a witness is beyond talking about God. Being a witness is proving in your office that God is real. And not just that God is real, that He has a purpose, He has a will, He has a government. Maybe you did not know that being a witness is also the only ticket you have to be relevant in Zion. And maybe you did not know also that the purpose of God on earth will never be accomplished unless you become a witness. I see many people that stand on Facebook and on media insulting pastors. They are funny people. They don't know it's not the job of a pastor to bring the will of God to the earth. It's the job of every believer. We are the ones to do the work of the ministry. It has nothing to do with the pastor. But there are no lively stones. Adosh. Elohim Adonai Elohim We worship you most high Kadosh, Kadosh Do, Kadosh Elohim Adonai Elohim, be Next time God puts in your heart to bring that money to church, know that it's not you doing the church a favor. Know that it's you securing a place for yourself in Zion. Next time God tells you to speak to that sinner, know that it's not you just bringing salvation to that sinner. It is you bringing God into this world. And next time God gives you an assignment, an instruction, know that is you walking into the womb of spiritual authority 